I might need more cowbell, and it is July 28th, 2020, and boy am I glad I didn't do the news last night, because as you just saw right there, Steam. Steam will now host Fantasy Star Online 2, and there's a whole slew of things going on. This is happening on the 5th. Right now, there's no uh, solid information, but they do have uh, launch rewards, so most likely it's going to be. It says officially arrives on Steam on August 5th, so for all of you... Uh, people who've been complaining uh, Good job because now it's on Steam and uh, There's gonna be some nice rewards here nice login rewards I'll leave a link for this video if you want to see it if you haven't seen it yet or if you don't know how to uh, Search on YouTube, but uh, just logging in you're gonna get a nice uh, head crab emote uh, This one you walk around like a zombie in the female version. Uh, you know, you're fighting it uh, additional login rewards is an XP boost 50% times 5, Rare Drop boost 50% times 5, Mazetta boost 50% times 5, Half Scape Dolls times 5, and then uh, the unit, the Fresh Aura unit, which is a nice glow that actually goes around your feet. Uh, it's good till level 30, it increases the amount of XP you get. Uh, logging into PSO2 on Steam, and then you complete any, any quest once, you'll get 2 times Pyro Masks and 2 times Alex hair and this is a big thing because they're giving you two as these are consumables so instead of just giving you one item they're giving you two so the, this can work uh, account wide on all your characters that's really good that's that's amazing that's that's uh, that's awesome um, completing the completing two quests on hard or hardcore difficulty will give you an evolution device of Wheatley from portal 2 the uh, Team Fortress 2 uh, heavies minigun. It's a weapon. These are weapon camos. These ones are weapon camos. And some of these weapon camos do work on multiple things. So I'm assuming his is going to be the launcher. Because in the video it shows launcher actions. But I'm sure it's also going to be uh, assault rifle. Because that's what the Avenger also looks like. You got your Left 4 Dead frying pan. Which is I'm sure rod, sword, and stuff like that. It, it, it looks so simple too. I was trying to think of, is there another weapon that could have been from Left 4 Dead? Obviously the frying pan was the funnest, most silliest when they brought it out. And then of course, uh, Gordon Freeman's uh, crowbar. That's, that's the guy's name, right? I, I'm not, I don't really play Half-Life. Ah! Set me on fire. Anyways, um, reward four is if you log in and complete any quest three times on very hard difficulty or higher, you'll get the the HEV suit, which is uh, the main character from Half-Life 2, uh, Gordon Freeman. Right? Right? It's his name. And then if you complete any quest four times on super difficulty or higher, you'll get Alex's replica outfit. So, if, if, if you just complete four super difficulty modes, uh, Zueden, 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 uh, suppression in the forest, boom, you'll get everything. So this is really nice. I, I'm, I am a little, uh, I think, I think the evolution device really surprises me. I would have loved something like that for the Xbox. I mean, sure, the Dreamcast and stuff is nice, but it's kind of. It feels like they're doing. They're doing a lot better job of supporting the Steam version than they did the Xbox version. Because in the Xbox version, we just got a jacket and a controller. That's when we're getting weapons from several games. But I mean, maybe, maybe because uh, the Steam version of uh, Sonic kart racing i don't know which one it was all stars or transformed you can be no it was transformed it was transformed because you can be the heavy and then it, i think also uh the scout and then i think it was pyro was the other guy the car transforms into its different modes and then the driver also changed so this is really cool this is really nice like i said i'll leave a link uh to the video here also the steam page is up for fantasy star online 2 uh, so you can uh, put on your wish list, you can follow it, you can ignore it, and if you're ignoring it, I don't even know why you're watching this video. Uh, maybe because uh, you just like seeing me float around up here. But there isn't uh, solid information yet on it. Also, this being said, if you have, I should have had it up uploaded here somewhere. 
according to the fine folks at uh, PSO2 Tweaker that you've all been using to help make your, your Windows version run fine. Do not delete the Windows Store copy or the Xbox One copy of Fantasy Star Online 2 yet. When this releases on the 5th of August in 8 days, there is going to be a guide from the Fantasy Star Online 2 official website on how to link your Steam account with your Xbox One uh, Windows Store account. Because this game is cross-platform and uh, what was it, cross-store? I don't know, cross-platform. It, it works. They're all going to work together. So we're going to play with Steam people, which is basically all PC people, right? So don't delete your thing. This guy right here says that he has been told that the Steam uh, version is region locked also. Because at first he was going to say delete. Uh, where is it at? Right here. Uh, and likely remove support for the Windows Store version entirely. They're talking about the tweaker. So uh, they're going to try. I, I think they're going to expand release for a PSO2 on Steam. Like bring that into the tweaker. That's just what I'm, I'm guessing right here. Unless Steam has uh, its own little grip on it. So we'll see. Obviously, if you're not a fan of the Windows Store, which I'm pretty sure 99 plus 1% of you is not a fan of the Windows Store, but you're excited about Steam, I'm going to obviously log in on Steam and do those missions to get those nice rewards. Of course, I'm going to like to have the, the Heavy's minigun. And, uh, I mean, I already have the frying pan from uh, Franca. It, it's basically the same thing. And then, uh, head crap emote. Oh, gotta have all those emotes. But yeah. Uh, once I do these Steam things, I probably won't log in unless there's another event for Steam only. Because, hey, I'm, I'm happy playing it on my Xbox just fine. No, but that's me. That's me. You guys played on what you want to play. As long as we all get to play Fantasy Star Online 2, it's going to be exciting. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Make sure you keep an eye on this. Like I said, eight days. Uh, clear Ultimate Quest. That's the new thing right now. I, it starts on the 28th of uh, July, which is tomorrow. And then it ends August 4th, which is when next maintenance is. It's exactly the same thing as the uh, previous clear ultimate quest except for the difference is this one was on Navarius this one's on Lillipop so uh, rare drop rate of 100% effect during uh, during the runs they show you some of the weapons that you're never gonna get slave uh, duel soaring blades uh, slave sage slave gun blade the Gix weaponry some three 13 star eggs for your summoner some circa ray it's kind of weird that they only show like leg circuit but then they show souls that are available uh, in the same way as the previous one if you complete it three times you get uh, a 20 star gem ticket and you complete it five times you get another 20 star gem ticket so completing it five times gets you 40 star gems in total I'm not too fond of ultimate quest because it feels like a lot of grinding a lot of running around a lot of killing things which is the whole game right but you don't feel like you're getting anywhere and I've heard it feels like the drop rate has has really diminished I mean when I first played in the beginning it felt pretty good to get stuff you know things are dropping reds are dropping now when I play I don't even feel like I'm getting you know what is it seven star reds eight stars nine stars definitely not a ten I it's just so rare and then seeing the subreddit people saying you know how many hours they paid one guy put like 15 hours into runs you know he's got full party they're just slaughtering everything and they're not really getting anything good and it just seems crazy 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 i know my luck never is into 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 uh, drop rate stuff so it's just not fun i'm i'm gonna try later today to just try and burst through these bosses <laughs> uh, get those star gem tickets if not story mode anyways uh, so that's going on right now if you love ultimate quest which is fun I, I, I love the, the the different stage and the and the and the uh, change the corruption of the monsters they look cool 
the next campaign is your get free Star Gems campaign. Starting on the 29th of the 4th. This is just like the last Star Gem campaign, which is if you log in each day, you get 10 Star Gems. Which is like wearing an outfit. And then if you log in for a total of 5 separate days, you get another 3 Star Gems. So that's 100 Star Gems all together. 7 days for 100 Star Gems. Simple, simple, simple. There was a tweet that somebody made saying, hey, this doesn't really help us with our Star Gem drought and blah, blah, blah. To use their kind of words exactly. Uh, PSO people did say that they are working on implementing new ways. So obviously, when episode 4 comes out, then there's going to be new ways to get Star Gem. I'm, I'm saying episode 4. I said episode 4 is when Steam is coming out. Boom, episode 4. I'm saying episode 4 with Star Gem things coming out. So they'll probably in implement the... Uh, casino transferring and stuff that, that JP has going on right now from what I'm told so yeah at least 100 star gems in the next week make sure you get in starting tomorrow the new AC scratch ticket is seaside vacation and uh, this is the only outfit it's a it's like a pirate beach setup and I don't know who doesn't love a Hawaiian shirt. Marad clan. Yeah, like I said, pirate outfit. Uh, frilled hoodie. I'm sure all this stuff is just going to be astronomical. I mean, all this stuff. I mean, like the base wear. But yeah, Aloha shorts, banana hammock. From what I'm uh, told, is there's actually no innerwear for the man that can help with this. A lot of different varieties. That's. All right. Um, well, again, more pirate outfits. Some nice uh, grill clothes. Two different bikinis. Three different bikinis. Outlandish bikini, which this isn't anywhere near outlandish as the ones we've had in the past. Outlandish bikini F. I don't. I don't know the differences between that. Is like it more pirate stuff? That oh, looks nice. I'm sure the these are base wear. So I'm sure they're gonna cost uh, just too much money. Marad Clan is the, this is the innerwear. Okay, this innerwear will work for the women's bikinis, but there is no male innerwear to work with the the, the little banana hammocks here. So it's gonna look it's gonna look silly. Uh, hair they give you Huey's hair. They give you his tattoos. Uh, Sunburn marks, that is some dark burns right there. Uh, different eyes, which I don't really care too much for. Nice elegant fedora, that's, that's huge. It just looks like a sun hat. Uh, polka dot, this kind of looks like fun, fun, fun scratch stuff, but whatever. Oh, damn, I didn't see this yesterday. The Rappy Swim Ring, Rappy Swim Ring. And then a little, I swear, this looks like this, this kind of stuff right here, this simple stuff looks like fun stuff. Shark head, Perio, I don't, uh, yeah, space board weapon camo, that's gonna be good stuff. Uh, consumables are basically all the same crap. I'm sorry, consumables are all, are <laughs> consumables are basically all the same stuff. Emotes, uh, you get your splash, your swim, your swim two, and your banana boat, that's when you're sitting on top of floaty. Uh, doing 10. Scratch straws get you the dolphin tail, and doing 15 get you the white set, which is the arms. Yeah. So, well, that's pretty nice. Nice, nice scratch ticket. After coming out with just the Shining Heroes last week, we get a new one next week. I just put up the video for this one. For I mean, sorry, for the Shining Heroes one earlier today. That took forever. Hopefully, I'll get through this one a lot easier. I don't know what it was. It's a render issue. Along with the scratch ticket, we now have a fun scratch ticket part three, which is more of the same. It is uh, some beach stuff. They bring back the cool pompadour again, and then you have the older, the, the past one, part twos, parted, some of the eyebrows, and you get some nice pirate tattoos. Tattoos. Casual packs and saying, there's your, there's your, uh, White brim straw hat, your your sun hat. You got a pirate flag, some lays. See, this is what I'm saying. It looks like that stuff. That, those accessories look like uh, <laughs> like fun scratch stuff. Nice watermelon sling that gets me excited. 
and that's basically it. There's not too many new things, but a couple of them in there. There is new furnishing, uh, pirate room stuff, you got your private pools, watermelon slices. It'd be nice to have a, I don't know, sand. Kind of like how they have the grass, if they had sand. Uh, okay, oh look, here you go, jeez. I didn't even see this stuff. Resort lighting bed. That's the whole thing. Here's a new bed line right here. Resort bed, low table chair, sofa, rug, shelf, stand, screen, long chair, side table, tapestry. What's the difference between that and the rug? Uh, magical sound shower. Isn't that the one that we have now? Splash. Oh, these are music discs. Okay, this is um, Outrun? Splash wave, passing breeze, I think. Oh, and then you got your scenery past coast. Okay, cool. And then resort theme. Nice. All right, all right. That's a, that makes it even better now. And then, of course, there's the volleyball emote. And then consumables are the same silly stuff as always. So that's pretty fun indeed. Looking forward to these tomorrow. I guess I was kind of looking at it. Uh, casino booth starting two days ago. We're going up to... by adding boost effects to the casino on July 20th and then 29th. Okay, so what? So they still had one and then they're going to go again from the 29th, this is Sunday, and the 29th, which is tomorrow, today, which is right now. <laughs> right now until August 4th. So right now is the Lily Roulette Chance, which I'm terrible at, Rapping Slots, which I'm terrible at, uh, Akuma Slots, which I'm terrible at, Mesotan Shooter, which is the only thing I'm good at, Black Neck Pursuit Bonus, which that little monster cheats, and then more Rappy Slots on Monday. So yeah, extra boost right there for you casino goers. Remember, they're going to add a way to get Star Gems through the casino, so I'm sure there's going to be more people frequenting it at that point. It's funny that I said that I, I was glad that I didn't do the news last night because of the new news earlier, which is the, the, the Steam stuff. And now look at this. Episode 4 for information that they've come out uh, they go into the beginning part right here talking about the story I haven't got to it yet so I don't want to say nothing I'm sure you guys probably have right remember episode 3 campaigns um, I currently am streaming the campaign right now I'm in episode 2 they're gonna sh they're talking about what is available what is new coming to episode 4 again that is going to be on the 5th of <laughs> the 5th of August along with that uh, nice new steam update and yes there you go right there August 5th uh, what's new they're going to have global access for an additional 33 countries i will have the list boom right there whole bunch of countries right there a lot of nice ones, a lot of uh, ugly ones, like the United States. Ah, it's my own country. Shut up. And uh, but yeah, it's really cool that they're gonna be in all these countries. It's really nice. Um, people all over the world. It's fun to play together. <sighs> I wonder what they're gonna do if they're gonna if they're gonna finally open up all the other ships. It is gonna be interesting because there is no longer you're gonna just see English. I mean, I did see some Spanish. Not too much. I think I've seen maybe one or two people speak Spanish. But then again, I also uh, avoid any crowded, any crowded, any crowded uh, block. It has been quite. It has been pretty quiet though. So maybe they they might not even make new ships. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll have ships specific to uh, regions. I don't know. The game is kind of region locked. Uh, moving on to the uh, new items, level cap has increased up to 80, the photon art and techniques will go up to 17, new skills available for players from 76 to 80, um, that's in, I guess your that's in your skill tree area, they're going to include, they're introducing PvP with the battle arena, they're going to have a new friends list. It's going to be separate from your Xbox Live friends. So this is really great. So you don't have to just, you know, add somebody on your Xbox Live friends list. Which is really, really great. And so you have a nice separate thing. I can't believe they're increasing the maximum character slot to 20. Right now I believe it's at 12. Which is absolutely crazy to think about. I have 6 characters. 
and I barely play any of them at all. Uh, I know some people who have 10 or 12 characters, and and it's crazy, 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 crazy to think that, oh, you want 12? You want 20? And I know they do it for the weeklies, which just came out, to get that uh, 2.5 mil. So, I mean, that's a lot of Mazetta to do all those, but what else are you doing? Uh, new arcs missions, new universal ship for your battle arena and your challenge quest. That's really cool. I would love it if they did that for uh, casino. Just like one casino ship. Because uh, there's hardly ever anybody in there. Maybe make the casino bigger and better. Bonus quests for huge amounts of XP, Mazetta and material items. New seasonal events, always beautiful. Obviously, um, well, it's going to be August, so I don't know what seasonal event unless they're going to just talk about... Halloween. Halloween really is the next one. I'm pretty sure uh, Christopher Columbus Day is dead, which is fine by cowbell because that's my birthday. Uh, new Alliance Quarters, including Tokyo, Battleship, and Lunar Surface. Characters from the anime series of Fantasy Star Online 2 will appear on the ship and you can join and they can join your party after completing specific client orders. I think that's going to be from the episode 4 anime or the, the very first anime which takes place between 3 and 4. I can't really imagine them. I don't. I don't think there's any unique characters in the second anime, which is, which goes over episodes one, two, and three. Exciting new titles to earn, new enemy types to challenge. That's always great. Uh, new quest types, new areas to explore. Preview your purchase in the Fresh Find store. That's incredible! Incredible. Is that something that JP has always had, or 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 is that is that, or not? Either way, that's, that's awesome. Uh, send your materials automatically to the storehouse. That's kind of what material storage is right now. So that's nice that everybody's going to get that. And of course, Mission Pass 6. Season season 6 of Mission Pass. Uh, they talk about the crafting setup. It's finally come to PSO 2. This will allow operatives to customize armor, techniques, photon arts. Crafting can be accessed via the personal terminal in your personal quarters or the mini room. Each crafting type will have a crafting level which can be increased by completing crafting achievements. Increasing your level can be can impart bonus effects with crafting. So it's kind of like uh, harvesting, gathering, gathering and harvesting because there's a level for that too. Uh, to summarize the benefits, equipment extensions for your units allow you to rewrite basic values of a unit, customize their abilities, speed, potency, potency of photon arts, customize your potency, speed, number of hits, of ra or range of, of techniques. That's really interesting. Add timed ability to a unit, such as one that increases the recovery or attack power effect. Dismantle unwanted items and receive the material items for crafting that's pretty cool so all that crap you have in your storage like cowboy has right now uh, just just break it down daily crafting orders will arrive receive crafting orders from other operatives that's other arcs operatives you can do crafting orders for other people an uh, 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 arcs side hustle but yeah that's really cool apparently like uh, an example right here is the one photon art i don't remember the name of it but i because i don't use it but you write on your sword like a surfboard or like a skateboard so apparently you can change how that works to where you don't just end the animation real quick you can keep flying on it which would be pretty cool but of course there's gonna be more information on that later a uh, new planet to explore because if for whatever reason they decided to have earth be episode four so you get to have Tokyo and Las Vegas as the two areas. I wonder what another place would have been. But it's like not even they're not even that close to each other. They're just far, far apart. Uh, they're of course showing off new weapons: the Sea and Mantis, the Soaring Blades, the Quats Vidia, Vidia Knuckles, and the Sager Archer Bow. Uh, put yourself against fellow Arcs. This is talking about the PvP. Which has made its way to the ships. Well, the universal ship, that is. This ship will host operatives from the whole fleet who are desirous of testing their might against their fellow arcs in the battle arena, as well as those looking for allies to undertake challenge quests in the battle area, defeating opponents, and 
claiming victory in the matches will earn you battle coin which can be redeemed for a battle coin exchange shop and there's a number of things you can get there's also a limited exchange menu where star gems can be purchased from the battle coins every week you can purchase 10 star gems up to five times and then five star gems up to 10 times for a total of 100 star gems i guess a week for a sneak peek at the items that you can get is a nice Giad zara some, some more jeez that's pretty brutal looking <laughs> knuckles a brutal looking bow and then a um, rappy mini suit so instead of just having the arc suit I, I, I hate I don't I don't like how this this one looks this is because because the rappies look cute they're all nice and fluffy and then this one is just like ah <sighs> uh, they're bringing rising weapon badge three I know we just got you know, a whole bunch of twos. They kind of just like threw that at us. And now there's rising weapon badge threes. Uh, if you've outgrown your previous rise, rising weapon badges gear, the Circa Ray, and want to be on a solid footing as a rookie, start earning these new badges and exchange them in the shopping plaza. But I mean, where would you earn them? Because rising weapon badge twos, you get an extreme, uh, extra hard, right? So how would you get these? You get uh, these nice. Homura weapons. Homura no Odachi. Homura no Toshi. Assault rifle. Homura no Kazaku. Now, this is just an example. I'm sure there's plenty more things available in these areas. A uh, new collection folder, which is really nice. If you're starting a bit behind your friends, which everybody on uh, Steam who's going to join in then. Are likely to uh, they can be a great way to catch up that's why arcs HQ is introducing a new collection folder the next 13 star collection one these items are obtaining are obtainable by completing ultra quest urgent quest and expeditions to collect the individual pieces needed for the desired reward so just like the current collection folders the same way except these ones are 13 stars for revolcio so these are a modified version of the revolcios just collection collections collection folder version which is really nice it's nice to get a 13 star i don't know what you would do with these obviously you can use them as training fodder training fodder weapon fodder right uh new story odd arc seem to have infiltrated fleet oracle but in their purpose is but is their purpose nefarious discover their origin while you explore the newly discovered planet earth I learned the parallels between your home and Earth. New characters and old friends will join you on your quest to curtail the false one and other hostilities. Your battle, you'll battle new enemies, phantasms, the manifested fear and dread of Earth citizens, apprised of aether particles, and up, and able to move as dust in the wind. Interesting. So, uh, yeah. This is just a little quick bit of information. I mean, it's a lot of information, but it's a little bit extra stuff that they that they threw at us for episode four. Again, that's coming out next Wednesday, probably at midnight, midnight, uh, Tuesday midnight. You know, that's when everything is going on. Steam's going live. So I think so. That is pretty good stuff. Uh, to go back. To, I did I have a video covering this but just to make sure everybody's aware there is a new kind of fantasy star online thing going on uh, by next year we're gonna get an update to fantasy star online 2 current what we're playing now we're gonna get a graphic overhaul for it and then they're gonna also release alongside it is gonna be fantasy star online new genesis which you get to play as well not get to play as but you'll get to probably see nightmare ash here and there's gonna be different gameplay mechanics and but things are going to transfer most likely most likely people are hoping that it's going to be fashion especially with the graphic overhaul for fantasy star online 2 there's going to be fashion transfer so you're going to take your character and you can play over there but your progression your skill base is not transferable so everything that you can do in fantasy star online only stays there and when you go to fantasy star online 2 with your new character with your current character excuse me You'll have to start over from scratch but i believe and, and and you should be able to just transfer back and forth between both games with the same character and play two separate worlds as one character the 
like I said, I got a whole video on this already. I go through the trailer and I talk about everything. So uh, I'm apprehensive yet excited about this. And then to just talk back about old things. The 31st in uh, three, four days is going to be the last time you'll be able to get the Regal Memory Pack. Again, Regal Memory comes, allows you to get any old stuff from uh, any costumes and things from Fantasy Star Online, like Flow and Sword. Um, I don't remember her name, but she was basically the main cast character and the, you know, the Hugh Newell character. <laughs> Premium Service Pack, which also comes with the Mission Gold Pack, and then 12. AC scratch ticket. This is what I used to get almost every month because it would just come with 12 scratch tickets and then obviously it would cover my premium set needs. But I got with the last campaign I got a 90 day so I don't even know if I'll get this anymore. I still have some uh, memory in the storage so I'm going to use that. I'm sure that we're going memory kiosk portion is still going to be there but uh, this is going to be your last time to get a nice little bundle. That saves you about seven to ten bucks I think if you get these separately especially because you can't get these on their own and then finally just to make sure everyone's aware because this also ends on the fourth is the campaign for clearing story quest which is what I'm gonna work on in the next week or so on stream uh, you get basically you get this is then I just realized the, 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 the rewards aren't that great except for the evolution device for the Dreamcast which is Clearing episode three, behind the reason behind your birth. Uh, the other episode one and two, you just get a try boost of one hundred. So I'm actually, <laughs> as the guy lost all steam, um, on doing this. But I do want to get through the story because I do. I am. I, I am enjoying the story. And if you've seen the uh, anime, which is available on Crunchyroll and across promotion, but uh, it is it is fun to watch. It, it's like they they really uh, cut a lot of the story down because there's a lot of side things like stuff with Aki and Fori that they don't add that you don't really interact with. They like they like stick to a main plot instead of dealing with other people's stories. So apparently that anime also goes through episode three, but it doesn't deal with the Hurukatan stuff, which is right here, which is what she's all about. So. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's it for the news today for Fantasy Star Online 2. Got a, got, a, got a few old campaigns, got some new stuff coming out, new scratches. I'm sure there's going to be more campaign information soon. Obviously, the Steam information is really big. So, it makes, so I mean, I'm sure everyone's excited about this. I'm excited for it. I'm glad. I'm glad it's coming to Steam as much uh, as, as many jokes as I've made about it. I will also say that I believe uh, the PSO people are like, let's get this news out earlier so I need more cowbell can make videos about it. So when the videos actually come out, it's relevant still because <laughs> <laughs> they came out with the news and, and the events don't start till tomorrow. Usually I'm doing the news and the events have already been going on for a few days. So I think they're helping me out here. So yeah, you guys have yourselves a good day. We'll see you next time. Take care. So what chair is this one? Is there going to be an AC scratch? Well, there has to be because that's the portal. Oh, no, it's not.